We're doing a special interview with Ferry Hamzy today. He's done a quite amazing feat, passing 20,000 followers, and he's not a TV celebrity of any kind or a, or a musician. He's a future trader, which is uh, even more amazing because there's not a lot of future traders around co- relatively. So uh, f- four months ago, we did an interview with Ferry when he passed 15,000 followers. You can see that on our YouTube on May 4th. And uh, today, Ferry is at 20,341 followers on Twitter. Uh, and th- that's just something that's never heard of. So, Ferry, wh- what, what does that mean for you over the past year or so of just using Twitter? It's gone from well, nothing to exploding for you. Well, yeah, about a year ago this time, I think I was about 2,700, 2,800. And um, probably getting to about 5,000 was a very, very slow uh, move. Um, but uh, we picked up. We did uh, three gurus in, uh, at SIBO, and uh, as they say, the rest is history. We just kept on rolling up on Twitter. Uh, and the result was really uh, to be multifaceted, to appeal to a large number of people, be respectful, uh, be straight shooter, have your profile available, you know, your picture, your phone number, your email, uh, you know, uh, and then, uh, you know, just answer people, try to help them, mm-hmm. try to stay on the message, uh, and then have a, a appeal to different segments out there. I mean, I do a lot of music. I do some stuff on Iran. Uh, I, I post certain unusual stuff in finance where I found things like what was happening with Flash Crash. That, that, that kind of uh, did a quasi-trending, if you will. Mm-hmm. A lot mm-hmm. of people it it. Um, and, of course, we run our uh, contest weekly to, of our Master Traders contest, which has to do with uh, you know, picking uh, an index uh, uh, co- closing value. We have one today. That's running for today, so Friday the 17th, which is an option expiration. I think this was on SVX. We rotate every month, I mean every week. Um and we give them a copy of the book or maybe this polo shirt. It all depends that uh, you know, they win the first or second. And But we also try and teach them something. So you're trying you know? to keep people engaged. Yeah, exactly. Be engaged, be relevant. Uh, show, And then we do webinars, market time webinars on Sundays, uh, which is open to all. And basically go in there and say, okay, uh, as a trader, I need to do my homework. But I want to sound it off, off of you. Maybe something you, you see that I don't see. There's something that I'm going to learn from you. So it's a two-way exchange. And um, it creates a transparency and brings in honesty. And you take a look and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for. If it doesn't happen, you shouldn't be afraid of being wrong. A failure is part of the uh, trading. It's just that issue is how long you were wrong. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, And then you have to react. So um, the last weekend, for example, I said, hey, guys, you know, I fell off to my chair reading on uh, these uh, Twitter streams where people say, risk is back on. How are you looking at that? I look at R- Russell, R-U-T, it has hardly moved. And, and in a relevant level, in the sense that where it is on Sigma channels, where is it against its, its 200 moving average vis-a-vis other indices. Uh, Let me ask you a quick question about that, though. Yeah, go ahead. How would you recommend uh, other newer traders or people who aren't familiar with Twitter to be using the comments on Twitter because, like you said, a lot of people may be wrong or they, they may sway your emotions and get you right. off track. You know, it actually could be a very dangerous tool rather than the, than the tool that helps people. Well, that, that's very key. Uh, good question. Um, I think uh, you'll see uh, – I mean, what you're touching on, Jeff, is really understanding sentiment. And the answer is straightforward for me. But it took me a, a life or a journey, if you will, a life journey to get there in the sense that uh, uh, not sure if I can transmit back that easily, but you got to take a lot of data points and be observant of uh, what's happening on the streams. Typically, if the, the, you're dealing with a lot of novice traders, uh, you're going to have people who are wrong at the extremes. That is, they're going to be long at top, short at the bottom. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
You wouldn't know that until after the fact. But if you can take enough data points, you would know who these uh, players are. And typically, uh, I I use a stream, I use Twitter to fake the the the, the masses. Yeah. Um, I think Twitter could be a very very dangerous tool if if it's misused. If at, at the same time, if you use it properly, it's a great tool. It all depends what you're training, what you focus on. As you know, uh, what I teach at SIBO, I don't teach options over there. Uh, anybody can teach options. There's time a dozen people out there mm-hmm. who are going to be uh, teaching options. And there are some great minds out there, by the way, who, who do teach options. So I'm not going to be able to compete with that. I'm just another trader. Uh, what I try to teach them is uh, use uh, sentiment. You know, using the data derived from option market to read what's happening with the stock. That is, how does Chicago impact New York? Think of it in those terms, yeah. okay? Uh, the Chicago trader versus New York trader. Now, uh, same thing happens. In, I mean, that's that's generally speaking sentiment, which is what's happening under the bell curve. You know, statistically speaking, what's happening in the uh, trade. Same thing can apply to Twitter. You could see okay. people, people who are too cocky, too sure of themselves, uh, make wild estimates out there. Those are probably the people you want to face. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, those are the guys who are most likely to be wrong. It doesn't mean they're always wrong. It doesn't. I mean, the other week I was fading one of the guys who's fairly good on Twitter, by the way, but he's been on a streak of being wrong. So I was fading him, and this one time he was right. So I got. So it happens. I mean, that's true. It happens. Uh, but generally speaking, the younger you are in, in the trading age, if you will, mm-hmm. I don't mean human age or uh, age on the planet, but in terms of amount of trading. Uh, you'll make these wild estimates out there uh, without having much uh, uh, substance or uh, to behind it. I mean, I sometimes uh, I, I, I get no answers with some of my questions. I would ask somebody who make one of those comments saying why mm-hmm. or what is your uh, you know what is your uh, reason? And you know, they, what don't, do you, they don't know why. They never answer me back. Yeah, they never answer me back. I would ask them. Like, what do you see? Could you share what you see that I don't see? Mm-hmm. Or not even that, way, because that could be intimidating. I would just say, look, um, could you share with me uh, your reason? I never hear back. Yeah.